Hi, let's be useful again. Let's do something, uh, I don't know, dirty. And let's try to improve this useless piece of shit over here, which is Irand X IRM. And the, the, the crappy one I reviewed some time ago, like in the beginning of this year. I had kind of like, I don't know, high hopes for this radio, but the radio itself proved to be just... <sighs> oh, I turned it on. Just a piece of crap because of at least a few very, very, very major problems. And one of those problems is how anyone thought he, she, it, whatever, will place the antenna over there. Because instead of doing this, hmm, instead of doing this in a normal, I don't know, traditional, um, good way, they did it in a very, very bad way. And the antenna, which is a dipole, half-wave dipole for 2.4 gigahertz frequency is located over here vertically. Come on, why? Why in the name of anything that's good and holy anyone thought, yeah, 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 this is a good idea, we're gonna do it like that. <sighs> Never. Never, ever, 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 absolutely never, if you want to have anything like a decent wrench and be sure that things will not be falling out of the sky without any good reason, do not even think that installing antennas horizontally is a good idea, because it isn't. I I did, I wanted to do a video about this, but never really succeeded. But the reason is simple. Two linearly polarized antennas can really talk to each other in an efficient way, only if they are parallel to each other. And now, think for a second. Think, just, just think. What happens when one of the antennas is horizontal or two of the antennas are horizontal and you yaw, rotate and stuff like that. Just think. You do not have to trust me on that. Just use your imagination and, uh, and think. One of the other problems of the current era of internet is that I think people are not really thinking enough because thinking is cheap really thinking is very cheap okay so what I want to do is I want to get rid of this antenna which is connected via the UFL connectors by the way I hate UFL this is like here, inside of this radio, this, this might... Okay, it's not that bad idea to have a UFL because there is no movement and, and it's just static. But UFL on the video transmitter, in a drone, crashing into a tree... No. No, 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 no. This is just very, very very bad idea. This is why the UFLs should go uh, just like this antenna. Uh, while we are here, let's take a caliper and let's check the length of the feed line. Uh, it should be, I think, 60, 50. Yeah, the feed line is 56. Here, total 82. Hmm. I wonder how long my feed line should be. I wonder if I can assume that over here I have the hmm, three millimeters. Um, I think I will have to run this on the calculator. The half wavelength for the 2.4 gigahertz is 62 millimeters, around 62. 
So time 0 0.7 because we have to include the velocity factor of the cuts wire. I have it over here. So it's 43. Hmm. It should be around 43 millimeters long, the full total feed line length. Here we have around three, so let's say four centimeters. Let's say four centimeters. So if I will take, will this fit? Will this, yeah, this one should, at least I hope it should. I have to check something. Don't run because, oh, because there is something I might have not thought really true. And I wonder if I will be able to close the radio with the UFL gone and the SMA pigtail over there. No, sure, no problems at all. There are at least few millimeters free, so it should be more or less like this. Great, fantastic, outstanding. Good job, Pavel. Well, not yet. Anyhow, um, four centimeters of the feed line because here we have three. So, okay, maybe even slightly less. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna wing it and cut that much. It will not be worse than what we're having right now, because instead of this small horizontally oriented dipole, I will use this vertically oriented dipole, so whatever losses we might have will be just compensated by this. So, so it should be fine, it should be working. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get rid of the UFL. Oh, I cannot see. I'm gonna get rid of this UFL because those UFLs are, well, they are piece of shit. Let's call it like that. Everything is better than them. And I'm just gonna solder the pig, pig line. Pig. I'm just gonna solder the cable to the board directly. It will just work fine. Now. Right. Ah, okay. It worked. Oh no. But okay. There still should be no problems at all. Maybe I should have used the the hot air station. Yeah, probably, but come on. I don't know why people are really so much scared of soldering those kind of electronics. It's not like we are still living in the CMOS era when even the slightest touch of anything could have destroyed the electronics. We, we progressed a little. Everything more or less what we are doing over here is ESD safe. So it's really no danger, almost no danger at all. And you will never not really destroy this just by soldering anything to it. Of course, if you are using something like a Middle Ages soldering iron that's with a transformer inside, then yeah, I, yeah but then it will be just your fault. Hm. To be honest, I'm not amazed by the quality of those uh, yeah, I'm not amazed by the quality of those pig, pig tails I got from AliExpress. <laughs> yeah, it will be fine. It will be fine. I will apply some. Um, I will apply some isolation on it. So after all, it should be fine. I think will go wrong because really, with. Uh, Hard work like this, it's really hard to make things worse than they were. Oh, you would really have to have to try. Uh, so yeah, 
the shielding is almost gone. The summer is almost gone. I can't wait for the autumn because... Oh, I've cut it. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, it was just too hot in the Europe in the summer, the temperatures, and no, that was not nice. I prefer slightly, slightly, slightly lower temperatures. I don't want to use my teeth on this. I have to. Uh, fuck. Okay, it's ugly, but... But whatever. In this case, I don't really care about the quality of the job because I just want this to work. I'm really, I'm really not having any expectations towards this. So let's just do it. On the other hand, I wonder how this multi multi module is solving the problem of the of the multiple signal sources connected to the to the antenna output, is there really some kind of fancy filtering thing going on? I'm, I'm really interested how they solved it. Um, I'm not an expert in RF, but who is? So really, really, who knows? Let's prime the shield. Let's prime the hot wire. And we can start soldering this crap to this crap. Yeah, it's so ugly. I will really have to isolate it properly. Oh, well. Hmm. And I think I really fucked up. I think I really fucked up. I might have to be forced to use a um, different pigtail. Because clearly... Or maybe not. Yeah, it will be fine. Okay, the shield soldered. Let me find uh, something to reposition the. Oh, you don't see anything. Oh, well. Let me find something to reposition the hot wire. Solder this in place, and we will be having it. Um, is it fine? Yeah, ugly, really. If I would be a quality control in a factory, I would probably fire me because this, yeah, it's ugly. Uh, okay, I'm really not proud of my job, of my work, of my doing over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugly, really ugly, ugly, ugly like hell. But okay, let me let me apply some isolation. This is pretty cool stuff. It's called liquid tape. It more or less isolates everything. Um, if you want to make yourself a treat, because from time to time you have to isolate a thing or two, like put it somewhere, protect it, something from somewhere. This is really good stuff. 
Um, in my case, one bottle usually lasts for around one year. I will have to get me another one. So, good stuff. Okay, let's, let's allow this to harden and I will have to make a hole in this to fit the... How is it called? The SMA connector into it. Okay, short break. Okay, we're back. The, the hole I made is slightly too big, but yeah, it's really hard to make this radio worse than it was before, so I suppose it will be just fine. Mm. I know this is not the review of this of this crappy radio, but when I, I ordered it on the Atom of the last last sum, last last year in the pre-order I really had high hopes for it. I really hoped that it will be something that will make my life easier because I will be just... where's the second wrench? Because I will be just able to use this radio as the secondary radio for something smaller, lighter and not that important as a big airplane or something. It turned out that oh yeah 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 Let's begin with the rather poor quality, but I was I think I was prepared for not the best build quality because what what can you really expect? But the biggest disappointment for me was the deviation deviation TX software over there because oh man it sucks um, every try to set up a mixer is a major pain in the ass every try to set up a failsafe is major pain in the ass there is no good documentation there are no good sources it's all like like <laughs> Like, I, if this was free, if this was only a software, then okay, yeah, it's only a software. Uh, we are doing this in our free time. Have fun or not, it, it's on you. But come on, it, you have to buy the hardware for it. It's... Uh, oh, it's... Oh, for, oh, good one, good one. Let's say you want to bind the... FRSky XRS receiver or X4R, the older ones, not, not, nothing super small. Let's say you want to bind it. This hardware, in theory, supports this without any problem. You open defaults, not, no binding. It's not binding, it's not binding, it's not binding. Only after like digging really, 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 really hard, I found out you have to go to some submenu and change one value from 0 to minus 40. Why the... F uh, okay, let's... Let's finish with the radio. It's almost done. Um, it's still crap, like it was crap. Nothing changed on that matter. But at least right now it will be a crap... Oh, I forgot about this. This, this piece of rubber over here but at least right now it will be a crap with detachable antenna and that's the and that's the um i no okay it's fine and that's the completely different level of crap Ta -da! isn't this nice isn't this nice now it really looks like a real Real radio, not a toy or something. Um, uh, I'm really... Ah, what can I say? Okay, I will spare you the details of assembling this stuff together. I will not test it now because I kinda... Do I? No, I don't. Yeah, it should work. If not, I will tell you next week. Ciao!